Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Foriam. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a very short one. We are going to install or allocate more RAM or memory to our Minecraft game. You have come to the right place, my friend. Let's get right into it. Okay, so before we edit things in our Minecraft launcher or Minecraft game, we're gonna need to know if our computer is up for the task. Don't worry guys, most computers will be able to handle this. I can't even imagine anyone playing with a computer that cannot do this. But just to double check, we're gonna go ahead and press on the start button. Then we're gonna go to settings and press system. Afterwards, we're gonna scroll all the way down to the about tab and there we will be able to find our device specifications. Here you will be able to find your device name, your processor, installed RAM and stuff like that. But the thing that we are most interested in right now is our operating system. This is your system type. For me, it says 64-bit operating system or x 64 based processor. And this should be the case for you as well. If you have a 32-bit or x86 structure, well, you will be only able to allocate four gigs of memory to your game. Okay, so now that we have this information, we can move to the next step, which is your installed RAM. I have 16 gigabytes, which is overkill for Minecraft. I'm going to allocate something like six or eight. I usually do it minus 50% because the game is simply not so demanding. So now that we have this information, we can close the tab and go to our Minecraft launcher. Okay, so here we are. The first thing you're gonna do is check your current version that you actually want to upgrade or allocate more memory to. Preferably, this is going to be your installation where you have all your mods and shader packs on. So for me personally, this one is called Forium Minecraft. And now we will select this one in the installations section. So we're gonna go all the way to the right. Next to play, you will find a button where you can edit this version. So it says Foria Minecraft release version, blah, blah, blah. And then you have your game directory. Just keep it to defaults. The thing you want to do is click on more options. This is very important. Don't do anything with your resolution. It's definitely not necessary. What we're going to look for right now is the GVM arguments. These are the Java arguments. And currently the RAM is set to two G's, which means two gigabyte. And I already told you guys that I have 16 gigabytes, so I will crank this one up to eight. Um, if you have something like eight, then you should put it on four or five. Just go for 50 or 60%. Don't do anything more because Minecraft simply doesn't need it. If you are done with your selection, go to save. And now we can press play and play once again. So to double check our RAM or memory in Minecraft, I am going to start a single player game to show you guys where you can find this. Okay, so here we are. Right now, all we have to do is press F3. And here in the top right of our screen, we will be able to see the memory. Right now it's at 34%, then it goes back to 20, 26, 29, uh, 34. Uh, we can also fly around a little bit. Then of course the memory will be used a little bit more, but right now it doesn't really go much above the two gigabytes. Uh, we can also go to our options, video settings. And as you can see, my current render distance is at 34 chunks. If I pump this up all the way to 64, um, I still have a lot of memory, which is free. Right now it's using three to four gigabytes sometimes even, but it doesn't go over that. So if you have only eight gigabytes of RAM, it will be perfectly fine. Just put your allocation on Minecraft to four gigs and it will work perfect. All right, so that is everything. So now you have more memory or RAM for your game, so everything will run more smoothly. If you're interested in downloading some shaders, which you can see in this video, don't forget to visit my link in the description to that video. There I explain you guys in a few simple steps how to install them yourselves and also add mods to your Minecraft game. So that is something you definitely need to know for your next adventure. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and also leave a comment down below. If you have suggestions for videos, they are more than welcome as well. Guys, stay safe with the coronavirus. Forium out.